is so dogmatic. And if we understand this, we will look at, I call it the emperor's new clothes. When somebody says, when that little kid finally says, he's not wearing any clothes at all. And finally the spell is broken. When you hear this dogmatic teaching, which no priest, bishop, cardinal, or pope can go against, it is dogmatic. It is infallible dogma of the church. When you hear this, and then you look at what's going on in the world today, you suddenly see how we have been deceived by the great deceiver, by the father of lies working through his minions on earth that are prancing around in every color of cassock. So remember, we started out talking about reception of the Holy Eucharist. You have to be in a state of grace. You have to be Catholic and in a state of grace. And so the Canon 11 here, session 13 says, if anyone says that faith alone is sufficient preparation, let him be anathema. And then it says, unless so great a sacrament be received unworthily and hence unto con death and condemnation, this holy council ordains and declares that sacramental confession, when a confessor can be had, must necessarily be made beforehand by those whose conscience is burdened with mortal sin, however contrite they may consider themselves. And then it says, and moreover, if anyone, including any priest, bishop, cardinal, or pope, if anyone shall presume to teach, preach, or obstinately assert or in public disputation defend the contrary to what they just said, he shall be AO ipso in and of itself excommunicated. Right? So get this. When Jorge Bergoglio and all his crony cardinals and bishops and priests have taught and preached and continue to this day to obstinately assert that baby, baby murdering politicians like Biden, Pelosi, and Kerry. All people living in irregular relationships outside the sacred bonds of sacramental marriage, right? So that means divorced and remarried or just cohabiting. And any alphabet soup irregular relationshipers. If anyone says that they do not have to repent, have a firm purpose of amend amendment and go to confession. And yet nevertheless re can receive Holy Communion irrespective of this. They are automatically excommunicated. So Jorge Bergoglio, Cardinal Supich, Cardinal Wuerl, because he pulled that same stunt when he was Cardinal of Washington, D.C., Cardinal Wilton Gregory, and any other bishop or cardinal who said that you don't have to repent and go to confession before you receive Holy Communion. They have excommunicated themselves. That means, get this straight, they have schismed away from the Catholic Church. They are no longer Catholic. They are no longer the Pope. They are no longer a Cardinal. They are no longer a Bishop. They are no longer a priest. And you don't need somebody above them to say this. It is automatic. They are excommunicated. Jorge Bergoglio has excommunicated himself, as have all these other Cardinals and Bishops. They have excommunicated themselves, period, right? So it's time for the emperor's new clothes. It's the emperor's new clothes time for each and every one of us to let the scales fall from our eyes and see clearly we are not the ones who have schismed from the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. These treacherous, traitorous vipers have schismed away from the church. They are frauds. They are not Catholics. And it is long past time that we repudiate these vipers for the damned brood of vipers that they are. Again, you don't have to take my word for it. Dogma of the church. If you knew it and understood it, you would know the error from which they have, by which they have schism from the church. And the thing is, but most people don't know. And most people don't even care to know. Most people are part of those, what do you call them in, uh, in Revelation? Call them uh, milk toast. Uh, no, uh, it's temperature. It's a temperature term. It's uh, lukewarm. Lukewarm. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, they're lukewarm. And what does Revelation teach us about this? God would rather us be hot or cold. He's going to spit the lukewarm out of his mouth, right? Listen, if you don't know your faith and you don't know the truth of which I just spoke, and you'll be held accountable for that, but more than you will be held accountable for it on the levels of hell, according to Dante, the bishops, the cardinals, the pope will be held most accountable and most be damned by their failure to teach the truth, by their disobedience to almighty God and their failure to teach the truth. You see how stunning that is. Now they're counting on us not knowing our faith. They're counting on us not knowing 2,000 years of the unchanged and changeable truth. They're counting on us not knowing the deposit of faith. They're counting on us not knowing the dogma of things like the Council of Trent. Because then they can say anything to us and you get idiots out there, imbeciles, 
uh, ignoramuses who don't know nothing, you know, they violate the rule of a lot, which is a lot of people have a lot to say about a lot of things they know nothing about, that'll, that'll start saying, oh, Father, you're being disobedient because I'm preaching the truth. Never mind that dogma of the church is that Peter looked at the hierarchy of his day and said, we must obey God rather than you, right? So uh, these, these vipers and mitres are the ones who are disobeying God and disobeying his command to go forth and to teach all nations, all people, all times, everything that I have commanded you, Jesus said. Remember, just before he ascended. Uh, they're the ones who are being disobedient. So if we're going to talk about a disobedience, there's some losers out there that want to talk about me being disobedient, allegedly, right? If you want to talk about a disobedience? I am ready, willing, and able to talk about disobedience. But we're going to start with the bishops, the cardinals, and the Pope, who have failed to teach, teach you the dogma of the Catholic Church. All right, so that's that's our little meditation for today.